Welcome to video number two in the Photo Voice series. Several participants asked to remain anonymous and to have me do their voiceovers. We respect their request. I am a person who has lived experience, but who has also supported a loved one, actually several, through addictions. I was there for them through events that caused them great harm and even almost cost them their lives. When I went into treatment for my own addiction, I felt like I was only scratching the surface. In some ways, that was my own choice because I had trust issues. Even to this day, I don't trust easily. I guess you could say I was being stubborn about sharing personal parts of my life, but that stubbornness became my determination to succeed, and I have. I've been free of that addiction for a few decades now. Supporting a loved one is in many ways so much harder. It can consume your life because there are so many unknowns. When the person is home, parts of life are good because the parent and child get to spend time together. And we are all happy for that. Sometimes it causes tension with other family members though because some of the behaviors that led to the person's addiction come out. When the person is not home, there are so many what ifs. What if I get that phone call saying my child has been hurt, or worse? When I hear from the person, that sets my mind at ease for a little while. But I know addictions go through cycles, and the person can be triggered by so many things. Unfortunately, there are way too many people who are willing to provide that substance here, and those substances are getting more dangerous. I know a lot of people check to see if the flag is up or down when they pass the band office. It's almost like, did we lose someone? If the flag is down, then the question is, who? Sometimes we see people walking around and they're not who they used to be because the addiction has taken hold. You know their family, their friends. You feel for the person. You feel for the family and you feel for the friends. When we hear about some of the crises, and they happen almost daily sometimes, it takes a toll on a lot of people. At other times, we're lucky to go a few days, but it's almost like we're in wait mode. We feel for the people who are affected, and it has a ripple effect throughout the community. Then there are the ones that don't get reported, but we hear about them anyway because we try to look out for each other. Many families are hurting. I took several pictures for this project. All of them had a deep personal meaning for me, but this one, a stop sign, sums up best what I hope for Saugeen. A stop sign represents the voice in my head. I want the addiction ride to stop. I want the drugs and everything that comes with them to stop. I want the crying and the sadness in my grandchild to stop. I want the sleepless nights to stop. I want the worry and the wait for life-shattering news to stop. I want the hurt in our people to stop. We need to get together and start taking the drug epidemic seriously. When the spirit moves me, I become the song whose melody forever lingers on. And I can change the world I can change